What is up guys, Smooth here, back with another Minecraft video, and if you couldn't tell from the title, you can definitely tell by my hair right now, we are going to be doing a Dragon Ball Z mod called Dragon Block C. Now this is one that I'm very excited to do because I've been a big Dragon Ball Z fan my whole life, but it's also one of the more complete mods you're ever really going to see. Now, you can see we got Kami's Lookout over there, but before I even get to any of the stuff, I want to quickly show you something, so I'm going to set the time to night. So let's go time, set night and let's take a look around actually let's make it a, a little bit darker because that's basically sound out time set 20,000 and you can see now we have this darkness and we got some bright colors over there so let's take a look and this was something I got really lucky on this seed as I randomly spawned you can see right over here we have one random dragon ball now if I fly up you'll see that there's actually I think one or two more in the area if I uh, look around you see that there's some light over there so that's one and I think there's another one right over there so if I was trying to actually get all seven Dragon Balls this would be an incredibly incredibly lucky place to spawn now this is Kami's lookout and it's always gonna spawn on the exact same coordinates but before I even go all the way to the top I'm gonna show you how you would do it in survival even though I'm in creative so you would get to this over here and even though this looks like a regular block you can actually climb it up like you would a ladder so let's quickly just skip all that let's just fly straight up and I'm gonna show you where Corrin hangs out so you're gonna go up here and then we're going to climb up these stairs and we're going to get to start the beginning of our adventure. So here is Corrin, so let's quickly click on him and you'll see that you can get a flying Nimbus. So let's get that quickly here. Let's spawn it and just like that you have a flying Nimbus. And you can see right over here I can fly in it like normal. It's basically putting you almost in creative mode as far as how you can move. Now let's hop out here quickly and let's talk to him once again. You can also ask for a Senzu Bean which, will, which you'll take from him and it will heal you pretty much uh, to full health and you can also learn skills but we're going to skip that quickly and we're going to go upstairs and actually meet Kami himself so let's fly up there actually uh, let me show you the coordinates in case you guys want to try to find this yourself so you would go to slash tp your username let me see it is 80 to 20 50 so now we are here we are at Kami's lookout and here is Kami himself now, once you get over here, there is you have the, the nice little structure over here. You have inside there would be the hyperbolic time chamber, etc. But we're going to skip all that. We're going to get to the good stuff, and I'm going to show you how things are done. So if you want to access your menu, you would press V, and you'll see that you have all these little things you can customize, and you can pick what race you'd like to have. So you can pick human, Saiyan, half Saiyan, Namekian, and Arcosian, which is the stuff like Frieza, King Cold, etc. So... Also, you have quests. Now, everything here in this game, you have to earn yourself. So if you press L, you can see that we have the sagas open over here. So you have Cybermen, what are they, kill them, and you might learn more. Now, I'm not going to get into the whole saga thing because that would take a very long time. But I'm going to show you a lot of the features that this thing has. So now, if I go into F5 mode once again, and you see I quickly picked an Arcosian, I am absolutely tiny, and that's because I basically started the game and I haven't leveled up. So we're going to start anew so I can specifically show you all of the Saiyan features, hairstyles, and all that good stuff. So we're going to start anew and confirm, and then we're going to press V and go into the menu again. Now, the hairstyles are going to be the same for the human as well, but the Saiyan is the most completely done. Uh, you can see it kind of from the back over there. I do have a tail knot, which is pretty awesome. So you have quite a few different hairstyles. So you have the first one, which is Goku. Second one is Gohan. Third is Vegeta. Fourth is also Vegeta. Fifth is Goten, I believe, and the next couple are all Gohan from the future. So you have that one, this one, this one, and I think you have, yeah, that's Trunks and Android 17. Same one over here. I'm not sure which is which. And number 11 is, this is supposed to be a bald head, so this would be Krillin, but my skin is basically, uh, my skin has hair. And the last one is Raditz. This is my personal favorite. I think it looks the coolest. And you also have four different body styles. So this one is basically you with your regular skin's clothes. And the rest are basically you with uh, a hairy body. So <laughs> let's just see. There are, I think, different shades. So I'm going to actually go with this one right over here. So this should do it. And also you can pick natural. And this will basically make it so it's regular survival. So you won't have anything fancy going on. But you will have some aspects of the mod incorporated. But you guys want to see basically everything the mod has to offer. So I'm going to go into key. And we're going to go into martial artist since you have physical and energy capabilities. So we're going to go to next. That's it and we're gonna press accept so now let's take a look at ourselves we are uh, a little bit bigger than the Arcosian was I guess just barely but the hair makes us look a lot bigger and I'm gonna basically max everything out so I can show you guys the transformations so the way you do this is you would type in slash J R M C A 
set all max. And you'll see once I do this, once I actually level up, my character gets significantly taller. And there's actually something that I've noticed is a little bit problematic, is if you are this big, you actually can't fit through certain doors. You'll see as I get through this, I actually am too big to fit through it. I guess my shoulders are too broad or my tail is too big. Look at that. Let me twerk on my tail. Look at that. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get back into regular mode. All right, now that we have our levels all maxed out, I'm going to max out our key so we can show you guys some of the awesome transformations. So you would type in slash J-R-M-C-T-P 5000 and your username, just like that. And my key is now maxed. Now you're going to go back into your menu. So I'm going to press V, go to skills, and I'm going to max out my transformations. You normally need skill points to do this, but obviously we have it all because I'm using cheats. Press X, and now we're going to press G to start leveling up, or powering up rather. So we press G, you'll see that the sound effect starts coming in, and I start screaming. And this is what I look like as Super Saiyan 1. It looks really cool. It looks like I'm level 3 basically because of the angle that I'm, well, I mean, rather the raditz hair that I have. But let's go to level 2 now, so let's press G once again. Let's power up, and I got even bigger. This is kind of loud. Actually, let me lower this for a quick second because it's going to get potentially... Uh, ear mashingly loud all right so let's try one more time let's get to level three and you see i am huge now so i can i pretty much look like uh brawly actually so i mean i'm just absolutely monstrous and for me to actually fit through spaces is kind of difficult i'm not sure if i can fit through two by two so let's see oh i can just barely get through it there's actually one issue where after you die and you go to um to king yama's place you actually can't fit inside the area and you'd actually have to build around or something like that so it's kind of crazy but you'll see look how much bigger i am than him i'm like three of him that's so cool all right but besides that there's some other cool stuff you can do and that's actually create your own skills so if you go over here let's go to key techniques click create and you have all these different kinds of customizations so we're going to create our first attack and i'm going to go over all the options for you so first we can name it so let's just quickly name it smooth blast and you have different types. You have the blast type, you have the wave type, and you also have the disc type. Let's get to the blast one first. Speed 1.0, let's raise that up just a little bit. Let's raise it to two, damage is fine. Effect is explosive or single. Well, let's make it explosive so we can see what's going on. Cast time one second, cool down eight seconds. Color, you can change the color to different things. I think I'll stick with green. And density is basically how big it is, I believe. So let's make it, let's make it density five. Press accept, and now let's try this out. So we would basically go up, and you'll see, I'm going to show you something really cool. It's the flying animation. Basically, if you fly like in creative, it gives you this really, really cool effect. So let's get down to ground level, and I'm going to show this blast to you guys. So all you have to do to do it is you right-click. So it's the same way that you would basically block with a sword. So let's just blast some trees over here. So I'm going to hold my right-click, and let's see. There it goes. And just like that, we have our first blast attack. You see, it has a pretty decent damage radius. You can make it a little more powerful, but the actual ground damage it does isn't as significant as the amount of damage it would do to a player or an NPC. So now that we've gone over most of the basics, it's time to show you guys some of the unique items that this mod has to offer, and we're going to start off with the scouters. So you'll see over here we have a ton of different scouters, and they are between Tier 1 and Tier 3. So let's just start off with the yellow scouter tier one and let's equip it so you just grab it and you put it into your head slot and you'll see that a little icon on the left side will appear as if you're wearing one i'm going to quickly show you what it looks like in f5 mode and you see it's a pretty cool looking thing so let's hop back into regular mode and i'm going to grab a couple things over here to spawn them for you so you can see exactly how this thing works now normally i would like to actually spawn things on kami's lookout but unfortunately the mod creator has prevented any of this from uh i think they basically wanted it so creepers wouldn't blow up the the area up here so let's drop down over here and first i'm gonna you'll see it has distance so apparently i'm detecting something in some direction so let's see the distance is getting smaller this way i'm so big it's hard to move through trees let's see i'm not sure where this is but anyway let me just spawn a creeper right over here so you'll see oh am i in peaceful i think that's why all right easy there we go so let's spawn this over here and you see it shows the distance as i get closer the distance gets smaller now if I was to toggle it and press F4, I can see his power level. So you'll see right over here, he has a battle power reading of 3,500. And if I spawn a pig over here, it has a battle power reading of 5. And that's basically the gist of how this thing works. And it's the same thing for all the scouters, essentially. Next up, we have all of the armor and clothes. And they do offer quite a few options. And you'll see you have all these different kinds of battle armor torsos. And you also have the orange gi with t-shirt, the Namekian gi t-shirt, the future jacket, the blue gi shirt, and some random different items of clothing over here. So I'm just going to quickly take 
one of these I'll use the battle armor torso to give you guys an idea of what it looks like and I'll equip it for you guys so let's just throw this on and I'm gonna look like uh, Raditz pretty soon so let's see let's go into F5 mode and how badass does that look this looks absolutely amazing alright and beyond that you have the weapons and miscellaneous so we have the dragon block which is just a regular dragon ball you have the Namekian one which is much bigger and you have a dragon radar which you can use to basically find these dragon balls and as far as the swords are concerned some of them are really kind of OP they're really powerful the Z sword is plus 24 it's way stronger than a diamond sword but the problem is this <laughs> the graphics for it look really awkward it looks uh I mean I'm not sure if that's how it was intended to look but uh it looks it probably needs some work done on it. I'm not crazy about it. So let's just put that back in here. And I'm going to show you guys the last two things, which is the Flying Nimbus, which we'll actually skip over because I showed you how that works before. And the most important thing of all, the Space Pod. So let's show you guys how the Space Pod works, and that'll basically take you into different dimensions. So we're going to do some traveling, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how this Space Pod works. So let's set it down right over here, and let's hop in. Now in order to actually use it, you want to press down on the mouse wheel, and you'll turn it on and you can go to Namek, Vegeta, or Earth. Now we're already on Earth, so let's fly to Namek, so we're gonna press one and start. Now this whole process takes a couple seconds and something I've actually noticed is that a block from wherever you came from is gonna randomly appear in your inventory. I'm not sure if that was intended, but it does happen. Anyway, I'm gonna hop out of here and you're gonna see we are now on Namek. We have green water and a whole bunch of random stuff. And you'll see if you look over here, we have some of Frieza's minions randomly appearing and they look just like they did on the show. It's pretty, uh. Pretty impressive, actually. I forget their names off the top of my head. I think his, one of his names was like Bui or Kui or something like that. But uh, yeah, this is actually another space pod I had from a test earlier. But yeah, this is basically what Namek looks like. So I'm going to show you guys what Vegeta looks like. So we're going to fly over to Vegeta. Let's turn it on. Press number two and head on over there. Now this might take a little bit longer since I haven't been here, been here yet and it hasn't rendered. But let's give it a few seconds and we should be there any moment. We'll see ourselves right outside on this screen over here and okay there we go it just rendered so let's hop out and this is what Vegeta looks like again it's a very barren planet it's not a lot going on but if we look around we might spot some random Saiyans and you can see right over here we got a couple Saiyans over here with their armor and their scouters and some more over here and these guys are a little bit stronger than other places so if you're looking for a good fight these are the people that you want to go to now the last dimension you have is actually the place that you go to when you die and that is King Yama's place. So we're going to type in the command slash kill which will take us right over there so you'd see it says you died. And now I'm going to spawn on this platform and I'm going to run in this direction and you can see we can sort of see King Yama in the background. And something I noticed which I mentioned before is that I'm actually too big to fit through this doorway. And I also have a halo on my head which is pretty cool. Again this mod maker he basically did everything in detail. It was pretty awesome. So if you go over here, you can right click on King Yema and he'll offer to revive you for free. But we're not going to do that. We're going to quickly pass him and we're going to show you Snake Way. So you'll see right over here is the entrance. And if you go to it, you should be able to see King Kai at the end. I went pretty far on this just testing it out with like a gigantic speed boost and also flying very fast. But it takes a really long time to get wherever. I'm not even sure if there's anything at the end that's been coded yet. But this thing is absolutely gigantic. Anyway, we're going to go back over there and I'm going to show you what reviving looks like. So we're just going to go here, right click, revive for free. And just like that, you are teleported back into Kami's Lookout. Now I'm going to show you guys the last feature, which is of course the most important one of all, and that is the Dragon Balls. Now you can grab them over here and you can use the regular Dragon Balls, or the Dragon Block rather, and it's Namekian or the Earth ones. And you have to basically put them in an H formation and a dragon will appear. So let's get them out over here. Let's put them in our inventory. I think it's basically fine if I show you guys just one of them. You don't need to see both. So you'll see right over there. One, two, three. Across. One, two, three. And I think I right click on them. Or does it just appear randomly? Let's see. Well, they're making a lot of noise. So let's see. Let me right click. There we go. And you see that is uh, Shenron. So you will be granted one wish. What is your desire? Oh, okay, and this is what you can wish for. You can wish for diamonds, war and I crystals, a tier 1 ship, a senzu bean, or a catch and shard. But we're not going to ask for anything. Let's go to the other dragon. So let's spawn these, and you can see they're much bigger, and they basically light up the entire area completely. And as soon as I put them down, the other guy disappeared. So let's go over here, then right-click on him. And you can see Purunga is way bigger. 
you have a deep voice. Anyway, if you right click on him, let's see, I think his hitbox is probably down here. So let's see. Again, it's the exact same thing. So that's basically the gist of this mod, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope I was as informative as possible for you. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, a like would be very much appreciated. And if you want to see more mods like this in the future, subscribe, and I will have plenty of videos coming up. This is Smooth, and I will see you guys all soon. Take it easy.